I really want to show the world that in the Philippines, climate change is a reality. It's not just an idea. We have to live with it every day, every second, every minute of our lives. We, d we cannot really predict what will happen tomorrow because of that. And we are the most vulnerable in terms of disasters. <laughs> That's why we are here. And it's a good thing. Tacloban, la capitale de la région de Leyte, est devenue une ville martyre. C'est ici que la rade de marée a fait le plus de victimes la nuit du 8 novembre 2013, surtout dans les quartiers où vivaient les plus démunis. Le bidonville, appelé Barangay 68, construit directement sur la baie, est tristement célèbre depuis. Les images des navires projetés au milieu des cabanes en bois ont fait le tour du monde. Dear Marion, I left Matarino for Tacloban, the city where high end caused so much destruction and suffering. But Tacloban is also where the university is, which I dream to enroll in. I know how important education is if I want to be taken seriously. And I want to change people's minds in my country. But I have no idea if I can continue my studies. My parents don't have the money to send me to college. Besides my own future, I'm worried about our planet's future. We all know we can continue to mistreat the Earth like we are. Naging passionate ako sa climate change adaptation na to nung ma-realize ko na nakasalala yung future namin dito. Na parang, itong nangyayari, this is something important. This is something na kailangan pagtuunan ng pansin. Something na dapat ka mag-focus. Hindi na lang siya idea. Parang na-change lahat ng pananaw ko sa buhay. I don't really imagine myself sitting in our house doing nothing. 